So today we are going to do something I think is really fun. We are going to try, I'm, I decided because one of my not so strong points is that I, I kind of have gotten in a rut as far as, ooh, 70 and sunny in Texas. I, I'm not sure what the temperature is here in Arizona today, but it is nice and sunny. Um, I want to just start doing a different kind of a fold every month until I've tried more of them. Just because I know for myself, I've gotten into a rut where I don't do a whole lot of different folds. I've done a couple lately, but I'm, I want to make that a point to do that. So I'm going to try to do at least a cool fold at least once a month. So I'm starting out kind of slow and simple because I am a little, to be honest with you, I'm a crafter just like all of you and, and the folds kind of intimidate me just a little bit. So I started simple and this card is, is a very simple fold. It's more about just the way we're going to cut it. And, um, and we will go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take just a regular standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, and we are going to cut it to four and a half by eight and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and hopefully you can see it. I've got my camera kind of close, so hopefully it backs up enough that you can see everything. Okay. So I think that was straight. I sure hope so. What was that? Robin says hi. Hi, Robin. Thanks for joining. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and take out. I, I like to score using my cutter just because I kind of have a hard time with the score board. I'm going to have to conquer that because I, I want to get better at that. But um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. But I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So just in half. And then once you do that, you're going to go through and you're going to make one more cut. Now you're not going to want to cut all the way down, but you're going to go to two and a quarter. And then you're going to watch where your score line is. Mine's right here. Thank you. Is it? Okay, friends, I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to have to change the way that I've got this. Hang on one sec. The I think we're okay now. Everybody good? Can everyone see me? Hopefully. So you're just trying to make it so things run fast. I just want to make sure it doesn't, um, it doesn't focus in and out. So sorry about that. I think we have it. We're just going to go with what we know. Okay. So I'm going to want to take, hi. I said hi to her already. Yeah, Thank you though. Either, so. Okay. So on your cutter, this one, I don't know. Every cutter is different, of course, but mine shows a little line right here on the blade that tells me where the blade is. So I'm going to keep track Lusana of that. Who said hi? Luisana. Luisana. Luisana, how are you? Long time no no talk. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we are going to slide this down till we get to the score line. She asked what you're using for the live. I'm just using my Android phone phone. And apparently that's <laughs> that might be the issue, but right now that's what I've got, so. I'm going with it. Okay, so you might not be able to see down there. Let me do this. So now I'm going to where my score line is, and I'm going to cut down just one of these panels. In fact, let me look and see. I got to make sure I have the right one. So we're going to want to cut off the top panel, depending on where you want to fold. So you might want to fold it first and see which fold. I like to have the option of either side because sometimes, see how that hangs over? Sometimes if that happens, I can just fold it this way and then they're even. And sometimes neither one is because I'm live. So I'll just go with what, what one's better. I'm gonna take my bone folder and kind of firm that up a little. And it's not super, um, 
it's not super off or anything, but it's not, it's not quite where I would have wanted it. Let me try it this way one more time. I think I like this side better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wanna cut this panel off. Because we, I guess I could have told you, we're making a Dutch door card and I had never made one, so I thought, well, that's a good where to, a good place to start because it's a simple, a simple fancy fold, not overly fancy, right? And like I said, it's one of those things that I'm gonna conquer my fear of. Do you have crafty fears? Ah, uh, let's see, that didn't cut through all the way. I think I'm better off using my scissors at this point, just to kind of clean that up and make sure I get it in the right spot. There we go. Kind of cut off those rough edges a little bit. So this is confession time. If you have a crafty fear, now's the chance to talk about it. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to try, like I, I, I said earlier in the video, but it was, there weren't very many people here, but I want to do some kind of a different fold because I've gotten in kind of a rut with that at least once a month where I'm trying a different fold, different way of doing cards. So now I'm going to take, this is uh, this is the Rainbow Dot Slimline paper pad from uh, Brutus Monroe. And this is one of my favorite papers to go to because I am a huge fan of polka dots. Look at all those. Look at all those colors. You could not ask for any more colors than that. And I took this yellow. I kind of like the one that has just a little bit more to it. A little uh, more depth than this one. But I don't know. I just kind of like that kind of rich, rich yellow. And I cut that. I already pre-cut this one. But this is, uh, let's measure it so I can tell you for sure. This is... four inches by two and a quarter. So that one we are going to put on the inside of our card. So let's just go ahead and put that on there right now. And I'm going to be using, Brutus Monroe has a new tape. This is their uh, Easy Tear tape. And I just got this over the weekend, um, Brutus Monroe had a an event it was the staycation event and it was really fun I actually enjoyed it I, I was able to teach one of the classes and that was a really fun opportunity but the kit was huge the all of the stuff that um, Louisana shared your video. oh Louisana thank you so much the um, number of things that they included in the kit for that was incredibly generous I thought it was was awesome. It was a lot of fun. But anyway, um, they sent the tape as one of the, look at this roll. They sent this whole roll of tape as part of the kit and it's just like huge. I'm excited about it. Heaven knows I will put it to good use. Okay, so I'm just lining this up so that the, the top and the sides are fairly even unless, and then, <laughs> and then I might slip. Let's see if I can get it in there right. Do you ever have just a clumsy day? I've had one of those days all day today where I just have no coordination. I have them way more often than I would like to admit. Okay, so this one we're gonna cut just a little bit smaller. It's still the two and a quarter, or not two, and, it's actually still the same four inches, sorry. But this one I believe I cut to two inches. Let me look for sure, because I don't wanna tell you wrong. Yeah, that one I cut at two inches. And I cut this, this is photo play paper, and this is called Picnic Table, I think, something like that. Super cute, I've used this, this is like my third project using this on because I love this paper so much. And Darren, bless his heart, I haven't even thanked him today. Darren is so nice, he always moderates my videos for me because I have a hard time seeing the comments and um, doing my project at the same time. I, I guess I just don't have, I don't multitask as well as I should. So we are going to just go ahead and adhere that using the same tape. 
And since I talked about um, staycation anyway, I'm going to just... Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad you found us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this... Cindy says hi from Texas. Hi, Cindy. I hear the weather is beautiful there today. Sharon says hi from New Zealand. Hi, Sharon. Wow, you are joining from New Zealand. Thanks for joining us. What was that? I want to move to New Zealand. Darren loves New Zealand. He ha he dreams of us moving there one day. Okay, and then I cut these two panels from the foundation dies, the square foundation dies. I used, let's see, this is the third largest and fourth largest dies. And if you just want to cut them out, this one is three inches. And this other one is three and a half inches. Okay? I did want to say something, though. I was kind of in the middle of about to say something, and then I, I got distracted. So let me just... I just want to show you the sets that I received in my kit from the staycation. Because they're they're on the website now, and they are amazing. Cindy says, first time watching you, she found you through Louisana. Oh, Cindy, thank you for joining. And thank you, Louisana, for, for sharing. I'm on every Wednesday at the same time, and usually I um, usually I go live from the Brutus Monroe page, but something was going on. I know they did some updates today, and it, it wouldn't let me on, so you'll find me here. There'll always be a link on my on my page anyway, so you'll you'll be able to get there. And also, I always um, like within the next couple of days, Darren is so sweet. He'll edit the video and then he'll put it on. Um, both the Crafty Shenanigans YouTube channel and also uh, the Brutus Monroe YouTube channel. So this set right here is called BU. And it's just beautiful. Look at all of this. I love these beautiful flowers. You've got these cute sentiments, the little honeycombs, and then you've got all these cute little bees. And this is on the site. This one is the, this is the set I actually used for the class that I taught. Um, I can see I haven't really put it back together exactly properly yet. Oh, yeah, I did. There's just masks behind it. I did a masking class. And uh, you've got your little tulips. You've got your daffodils, your lavender, your frame. And then these are for when you're making like a mini album. I don't have it in there right side up. But it says place photo here. And there's a littler one there. So if you're doing a mini album for somebody as a gift, they'll know where to place the photos. Really pretty set. And this one is called blooming memories and then this set right here is crazy this is this right here is not from a kit it was a kit from the staycation event that w that happened over the weekend but this set is available separately now on the I'm website putting, i'm putting up links darren is putting up links as we speak too so uh this is called blooming memories and the bees were called bu and so then this set right here is crazy. Like this, this set has, I think, 80, well, 82 pieces. Some of mine have, are down at the bottom, so they would be up here. But you've got all these different ways to make birdhouses. You've got a little picket if you want to make a picket fence or a really skinny birdhouse. You've got uh, this piece right here is to connect your pickets for the fence. You've got your little either trees or branches, whatever you want. You've got some little birds. Everything you can think of to make a cute little scene, and it made a super cute card. In fact, I might have that card handy. I do. I have it. So it's just, I made a super simple card, but that was with this cute set. And this die set is a really great value. I think he said it's like $19.99, and it is called, I think it's called Birdhouse Builder. If I remember right. Darren will put it up yes, and then we'll know for sure. Builder. Yay, I got one right. <laughs> and just look how cute. Super simple, super cute. Okay. So then, oh, and I guess I could show you the other card. Let me see if I've got one handy. This is one of the cards um, that I taught. This was with the masking with the blooming memories. And this other one is one I made... And I made it two different ways, but I'll show you this one because I've, I've got more color on it. But this is the um, masking.
from those flowers too. Oh, thank you. It was so fun. It was a fun event. They just posted, um, they just opened up reservations for the close, uh, create your own ending event. You can buy tickets to that now. That's in another virtual event that they're having, but that one's in August. And that one's even more intensive. That one's going to have like 10 classes and tons of vendors. So you may want to look into that. Darren will put a link up for that. This right here is called the, what is this called? Uh, page, page builder. Is that what it's called? Which one? This one. Page builder. Page placer or, or page, page builder, page positioner. I knew it was something like that. And that one makes, um, Michael invented this, which is pretty cool. And we made these little mini albums from scratch. Like this started out chipboard. And that die right there is the die that creates the spine. And it has a little piece that comes up so that you can put your pages in. So anyway, I, enough about that. I will, I just wanted to show you because it was so much fun and there's so many cool pro, uh, products up on the website from it. So let's get back to the card that we're working on. So Brutus Monroe did a really fun thing in December where they had this box that was called uh, 12 Months of Stamps and Stencils. And it's actually still available. It's really fun if you want to do it like an advent, but either way, you've got 12 little stamp sets about this size and 12 little stencils. I've got one right here that are about this size. So they're perfect, especially if you like doing ATCs, the stencils are perfect for that. They're perfect for card sizes too, but we're going to work with this one. These are, this is actually sold separately as well now. And I just love it. And I feel like I, I want to kind of showcase this cute little donut and I just, maybe I'm hungry today, but I really just wanted to play with this donut. So I have been trying to, drop a few extra pounds that I have put on through this lovely past little while but uh, I, I like this donut because it doesn't have any calories okay so I'm gonna move that if you have a misty it's kind of a nice way to to stamp. I love the Misty because if you, or if you have any kind of stamp positioner, um, it's so nice because if you don't get it right the first time, you've got an out and you can go ahead and try again. And I personally definitely like having something that gives me just a little, a little safety net. So we are going to go ahead. I haven't inked this before, so I'm almost positive we're going to need to ink it more than once. This uh, ink that I'm using is the Raven Detail ink. And it is awesome for pretty much anything you need black ink for, I think. But it's really good when you, um, I like it when I'm using it for when I'm doing like colored pencils or Copics. I don't have a lot of trouble with it. I kind of heat set it a little bit and then I go for it. But we are going to stamp this little guy three times. He has no eyes. What happened there? I need to push harder, I guess. There are his eyes. Louisiana, Louisiana, I talk about you all the time because you helped me learn. You've given me so many awesome tips about coloring. She is, Louisiana is one of the most amazing colorists and artists that I know. She does amazing work. And she's got a craft channel, a uh, life in my crap, crap. I promise I didn't mean that. Life in my craft room. I apologize. I am definitely live and tongue tied and clumsy today. Life in my craft room where she um, colors live all the time. And she does incredible work. She's working on something right now that's just unbelievable. All right, Louisana, hopefully you didn't take that personally because I am really just a little tongue-tied today. Okay, so we'll see if Tio is going to do it. Louisana, this is life in my I'm glad you laughed. I was hoping you would because you have a great sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you for laughing through my clumsy life and not taking it too seriously. Okay, I want to get just one more layer on there just because, well, you know what? I am going crazy. 
We don't even need that many layers on this guy. Unless we, yeah, we'll do one more because I'm gonna, the headphones are really the only thing that's gonna matter on this one because everything else we are going to cover up. That's a cute donut. Isn't that a cute donut? I just love it. Thank you, Anna. Okay, so we are going to set that aside and now we're going to make our donut because I am sorry, but if I am going to eat a donut, it's going to be a chocolate donut. There's just no question. Darren can attest to that. I can pass up a lot of donuts, but I have a hard time passing up a chocolate donut. All right, Darren, has anybody confessed their crafting fairs? No, you guys are not going to disclose that. And maybe I asked too early. There weren't, uh, we started off a little slow, but um, I was talking about how I'm trying to, to branch out on my card folds because I'm kind of stick to the standard and then I, it gets kind of stale after a while. I need to branch out and do more card folds and things. So I'm going to try to do a different card, at least one different kind of a card fold every month. Um, but then I said, if you want to confess your crafty fears, what you're afraid to try, this is a good place to do it. Cindy says she likes chocolate plain cake or chocolate old-fashioned donuts. Ooh, yum, Cindy. That sounds so good. Louisanne says craft coloring pencils used to be her crafting fear. Oh, and now they're like, you are amazing. You are phenomenal at those. Luisana used to be afraid of uh, pencils, coloring pencils and colored pencils, I mean, but she is amazing. Seriously, when you see her stuff, you're going to die. Okay, so now, even though in reality, my chocolate donut would have to have chocolate frosting, in the craft world, I just like my donut to have pink frosting. And the funny thing is, is if we do get like a dozen donuts or something and bring it home. My two boys fight over the pink donuts. The pink donuts with sprinkles, both of them. One of them's 22 and one of them's 12 and they don't care, they like the pink ones. 12 year old won't eat a donut that says sprinkles on it. Yeah, my 12 year old thinks it, that your donut has to, ha like it's required that it has sprinkles. Mary says her credit card bill is a crafty fear. Oh, Mary, that's a legit fair. That is a legit fair. Okay, we just about have it. I just want to get this the eyes just a little darker on this one because Lisa this is our top said, layer. Luisana said the only way to get over her fear is to jump right into it. I agree, Luisana. She's forced herself to play with pencils. Well, it has paid off, Luisana. Anna says, not a fear, but I've never done a shaker card. Oh, you need to try that out, Anna. I bet you'd really like it. They are really fun. And once you've made one, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. Okay. Anna says her 10-year-old is watching with her. Says pink donuts and sprinkles are the way to go. Uh, yep. Yep, pink donuts. I'm telling you. Okay, so we're going to... We don't need the headphones, so we're just going to chop those off. Just get them out of our way. That was like some really abrupt cutting there. But we need to be careful now. Once we've done that, we're not going to use this little piece of the headphone, but we're going to cut around the perimeter of our chocolate donut. Cindy says she's never done a sugar cart either. And Sharon says her fair is husband getting to the door when the courier arrives. Ooh. It. Yes, that is also legitimate. You don't want you don't want your husband to get mad. <laughs> oh. I've seen some funny YouTube videos of of people the way that they hide packages. Okay, so we're just cutting that head uh that headphone piece right out cuz we don't need it. And I'm just cutting right up against that black line. As long as there's black on either side of my cut, we're okay. Donna F is on. Hi, Donna. She keeps getting the time difference messed up. Glad she's here. I'm glad you made it, Donna. It's 
It's alright. We kind of started off a little rough because I was I was trying to uh, to you know how your phone has the selfie mode and then the other mode. If I film in the selfie mode, I don't have trouble with the focus and everything like that. But if I do it the other way, it there's something going on with it. So you gotta live with everything being backwards. Yeah, I gotta master that. I need to face that fear, Luisana. Okay, so. Now we've got this piece, which you can see is just going to fit up. Gina's on. Hi, Gina. Your sister-in-law. Gina Smith, I figured. Hope you're having a good day, Gina. We don't need any of that. We're going to leave just a little bit of a border around this guy. We don't need to be as precise on our fussy cutting for this one. Luis Sana says you need an iPhone. Luisana, I need a bigger paycheck. <laughs> then I can get an iPhone. Sadly, I don't even know how long I've had this phone. It's been a long time. It's been at least three years. Our phones are five years old. Our phones are five years old? Yeah. yeah they're out of Hey, you work with what you got, though, until you can do better. Tina says my pair is floating with laminator. I do not have one yet. Oh, Tina. Oh, my goodness. I wish we lived closer. I was a little nervous of it, too, but you know what? Just do it. Just jump in and do it. It's just if you're worried about wasting product, just cut off a little bit and try with a little piece. And then when you feel more confident, just build up. It's really not bad. And Christopher has a few videos out um, that, that I've referred to when I tried for the first time, and they were really helpful. They kind of helped me get over the fear. Okay, so this one is a little fussier because we are just cutting out our icing. If you are not a big fan of coloring, this is paper piecing is a wonderful, a wonderful way to go. What I like to do sometimes is sometimes I'll do a little paper piecing, but I'll go ahead and I'll grab um, either ink or um, maybe even my colored pencils and just kind of go around the edges just to give it a little bit more depth. But today we're kind of keeping it sweet, simple and sweet. The only thing I didn't think ahead on was my donut hole. You might have to do something creative there. We will get that out. I have a hole punch. It just might not be as smooth as if I had thought ahead and had my, a punch that size handy. Or a die. Oh, I do have dies kind of handy. Let me see if they're on my desk. If they're on my desk, I can just hurry and see if there's one that's close enough. We saw it says you need a page. She has a great name you could use. My life in the crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Luisana, you are hilarious. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to worry too much because we have to cut out that little donut part anyway because it is just the icing. So I'm going to see if I've got a hole punch. I feel like I do. I just have to get to it because it's in the back. There we go. So I'm just going to use my little hole punch to get into that circle and get me started. And I'm going to cut right up to that. First I'm going to cut a little, a bigger opening so it's easier to move around in that space. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut around my frosting. Anybody else confessing their fears? Nope. All right. See, I think we all had our therapy. Now we can all take action and face our fears, Robin right? Says it could be crappy shenanigans. Crappy shenanigans. That's hilarious. Robin, you're funny.
All right. Slip of the tongue, and look what happened. I know. Of course, right? Well, it could have been worse, you know. Thankfully, it didn't become profanity. I mean, I guess it depends on who you, who you ask, but I'm glad it was not anything too crazy. <laughs> I know. You've told me, so I moved. Thanks. Thank you for watching me, Darren. Okay, so now this is going to bug me, though. We're going to have to cut out the center of this one. Let me see if I've got those circle guys. We've got the uh, the frosting all cut out, but we do want to get rid of that circle. And I may just do it the same way. Yeah, it's probably faster than trying to find anything on this desk. Trust me. We're going to leave the white one. We're just going to cut it out of the brown one. Because I'm not, I'm not going to cut this out right here either. I'm sorry. I'm just not that. What's the word I'm looking for? You've got some reflection going on in your black there pretty good. In the black? The light. It's white and it's washing out your pictures. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let's see if I can. Let's see if that works. Okay, so we've almost got this guy, and the rest of this card is going to go together so fast. Theresa says hello. Hi, Theresa. How are you? Hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully you can see this. I tend to pull it close to me, and I don't want to do that because I want to be on camera. Sorry. I think we got one more little snip. Yep. Okay. It's not a perfectly round donut hole, but you know what? I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to glue this guy down. Actually, I'm just going to use my, uh, my easy tear tape. It's just, I just find it easy to work with. All right, and we'll line this guy up onto our little donut. I need to scooch him over a little bit. Ah. Well, I didn't do that just right, but that's okay. It's going to get covered up. Like I said, I like crafting in a way that gives me a little bit of an out, <laughs> a little bit of an emergency exit on, on things. Teresa said she's meh. The weather is beautiful. The weather is, is beautiful. It's a little windy today, but other than that, it's, it's a pretty day. All right. Are you in town right now, Theresa? Okay. So, now we can add our... I have to hold it a little closer because I don't have my glasses on. Shocking, I know. I really hate She's wearing my glasses. Oh, okay. Okay. feel like I don't have it quite lined up, but you know what? I think sometimes the more you mess with things, it's better just to leave them sometimes. So what we're going to do now is we are just going to use, this right here is called uh, Liquid Glass. This is a product close to my heart makes, but there's also Crystal Effects. FSJ makes one called uh, Journey Glaze. It's just a clear... Um, what do they even call it? Let's see if these guys tell us what they call it. It can be an adhesive or you can use it just to add some shine. We are going to kind of use it for both. Now, Brutus Monroe does make a clear glue. I did test it out. I didn't have a ton on there, so I might test it again to see if it works. But um, for the next part, it, it does add a little bit of shine, but it wasn't holding on to the pieces that I needed as heavily as I needed it to for this. It's great if you're just gluing a little something on that's flat, but I'm going to be gluing on some sprinkles. 
So I needed something just a little stickier, I think. But like I said, I didn't use a huge um, layer of it, so I may try it again and see how that does. What was that, Darren? Denise says nice and sunny and warm outside where she's at. Oh, Denise! That's nice. I, I love spring. I really do. I wish spring would just stick around forever. Cindy says very cute donut. I like this donut too, Cindy. It has such a cute little face. Okay, so once I think I've got that filled in, I probably have way more of this on here than I need to. But, and it will take probably an hour for this to dry, but we'll be able to finish our card anyway. I can work around it. So the next thing I have to show you, these are the cutest things ever. They just look like the sprinkles that you would have on a donut. And these are, um, these are just such a cute embellishment that Bruce Monroe carries. They're uh, clay, sprinkle mix. clay sprinkle mix is what they're called. So we're going to use some of those on our donut. And another thing that they have uh, recently, they've got these little trays. These are good for this. I'm really good at tipping these over. Most normal people can use these better than I do, but, you know. So, learning curve right now, right in front of your face. Be careful when you're placing it around the face because you don't want to lose... You don't want to lose your donut's little face. So honestly, I would maybe place just a couple more uh, intentionally over by the eyes. This, I probably wouldn't have put quite so many right here. I wonder if I can get one off. I'm sorry, if everybody goes and buys donuts after this, you can blame me. Let's Jenny take this one off. They're having a snooker now in Calgary, so it's nice and warm. Oh, nice. And speaking of donuts, oh my goodness, if you ever go to Canada, you have to try Tim Hortons. Best donuts I ever had. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. You know what's donuts now after work? Yeah, I think everybody's going to run into the donut store. Okay, so I feel like that's better. I feel like we can still see our little donut's face now. So, this one's probably better just to, Donuts. just to place them on. Donna Frost says, not me, spring means summer is next, and you know how much I love summer. Yes, Donna. Not a fan, huh? I'm not a fan either in Arizona. Anywhere there's else. summer, and then there's a furnace, and that's how we are here in Arizona, but hey. Okay, our donut's going to sit there and kind of dry for a minute. In the meantime, let's finish putting everything together for our card. So I need to just put our little three inch panel onto our three and a half inch panel. And I think that's pretty close. So we're just going to put this on to the front. Now we're going to not want to put any adhesive up here because obviously when we open the card, we don't want to see all that, right? So we're going to keep our adhesive closer to the bottom. What? Donna, who has two Tim Hortons? You guys have it there or we have it here somewhere in Arizona I haven't found yet? She says we, but I think it's her. Donna, next time you have one, think of me. <laughs> she she lives back east. She's moving pretty soon. Okay, so I think we've got that just about right. All right. I, ask how long did you take for the glass glue to dry? I would give this. Don't touch it. Don't fuss with it. I kind of broke some of the rules already, but I would give this about mm, an hour, at least an hour. But I'm going to work around it, but I don't do as I say, not as I do this time. Because <laughs> I'm going to break the rules a little bit. So I'm using some uh, Easy Tab. Is that what they're called? Yep. 
sorry I didn't warn you ahead of time. Darren's so nice. He, he gets all the links ready for me and then I throw him a curveball. Okay. So I have just found that it's a little easier to remove the tab before I stick it on. Because I, for some reason, am special and I can, uh, <laughs> I can tear that tab off real easy when I don't want to. Okay, so let's place our little donut right about here. And we're just going to be cautious of it because I know it's completely wet. I'm going to move it out of my way because I am really good at leaning into things and making a mess. So hopefully I don't do that. So these are called um, conversation clippings and I love them. They come in the inspiration boxes now. And this one is from January, which was all ice cream. Was that January? Ice cream? Yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. It was all themed with ice cream and an ice cream shop. And so we've got little sayings that say things like, you are simply the sweetest. Thank you for being so sweet. Um, you are a sweetheart. And then there's some that are more like, there's one that says, when life hands you lemons, make some sorbet. You are two scoops of fabulous. Obviously, those two are more for the ice cream, but I think we will use thanks for being so sweet. We're asking for the glass glue used because it's not for some robotics. So. Yeah, the one that I used just now is uh, through Close to My Heart. It's called Liquid Glass, but there's also one you can just pick up at any scrapbook store called Crystal Effects, I think is the name of it. I hope that's the name of it. There's also um, FSJ carries one called Journey Glaze. And they all do the same thing. Okay, so do we want you are simply the sweetest? I'll let you guys pick. Thank you for being so sweet or you are simply the sweetest. I'll cut them both out and you guys can tell me. We'll have a vote. Lou White says love this. Thanks, Lou. And this one, you saw, it was it went together really simple. It's a simple, uh, the Dutch door is a simple card fold, but it's it's a little different than your average, you know, you're not doing your same standard A2 card. Like that's I said, simply the sweetest. Simply the sweetest? Okay, that's the one. Therefore, that's the only vote. So. Well, you win. Theresa, you were the quickest. So. The same. All right, that's the winner then. So when you get these in the inspiration kit, okay, so if you're not familiar with Brutus Monroe, let me just give you a little a little background on that. Brutus Monroe, one of my favorite things about them is they do have several different subscription clubs that you can join where you get month, uh, you get something sent to you monthly. So they have everything from Stamp of the Month, which is a $5 uh, stamp. It, that includes the shipping, everything on that one. And... That one comes in a little, I'll show you the one from last month. This one, this is the stamp set from last month. Super cute. And that's, this is always the size that that one is. And for $5 with the shipping and everything, you're doing really great, I think. And when you subscribe to some of the subscriptions through British Monroe, you get uh, special discounts on other products. Not on, not on your subscription, but on your other the other things you buy. And then also, just kind of playing with the placement on this, kind of like it just right down there. We can move it to the side, but I kind of like this one centered. Um, they have an aqua pigment, which is kind of like a watercolor. It comes in a bottle like this, and that is a really good one. Uh, you get a new color every month and it's it's exclusive in that box and then they also have glitter glaze they have what am i forgetting but the inspiration box is like there's an atc kit sorry there's an atc kit that just if you like doing artist trading cards it comes with a cute little stamp set and it has atc cards and papers and just fun little things that you can use to make atcs and then they also have the inspiration box, which is kind of the granddaddy of, of all of the subscription kits. It um, comes with a stamp set that is, 
it's this size. It's, this isn't from one, but this is the size that you get. And uh, sometimes they have dyes with them. Uh, they're always chock full, I can tell you that. They have uh, different embellishments. A lot of times it's you get ribbon, you get um, a big thing like this of sequins. Um, sometimes there's a stencil in there. That it kind of varies a little bit, but it's I've never honestly been disappointed with a box I've had. So that's definitely something. If you like little subscription kits, I love getting stuff in the mail myself, then that is a great, a great way to go. Let's put those there, and then let's put these little ones up here. I'm just using some little enamel dots. I'm kind of addicted to them. I just don't feel like it's done until, until it's got the dots. All right, I think that's probably good on that. And then you can open it up. You can write your little message there. You could even put a, I, I think you could put just another square if you wanted to on this side and have another sentiment if you wanted to. So I'm going to hold it closer. I know it's going to be backwards, but um, I'll turn it the other way in for just a minute too. But when, when it's on YouTube, it'll get turned around. So this is our little card. I think the sun is kind of, let me move the lamp so you can see it better. Yeah, you're up center on the phone anyway, so. So there is the card. And then I'll do it this way so that um, if you need to fix it when you edit, you've got it. But isn't that fun? And like I said, that little, uh, that... 12 stamps and 12 stencils, um, the 12 months of stencils and stamps, whatever it's called exactly, Darren's got it up in the links. They are so cute, and there's, they're all, like I said, these great, these cute, cute uh, stamps in this great size. This one is the one from March, came with this stencil. This one is further down the road. They, they do sell this particular stamp uh, separate. I think most of them are in there separate, so just look them over if you want. But um, this one's called, what is the stamp called there? The donut? It's called Donut Give Up. Donut Give Up. And then this one, I'm honestly, I'm so sorry. I don't know the name of this one right offhand. But look at this cute little leprechaun. Love it. And then you've got your little shamrock stencil. So check that out. And check out the... Uh, create your own ending event especially if you love doing virtual classes it's going to be an amazing event i guarantee that all right and i think i would manage to do it without getting my finger in the journey glaze all right let me go ahead and flip the phone up so i can i can say goodbye to you face to face And thank you everyone who joined. I know, like I said, it was a little tricky to find me today, but I appreciate you, you finding me and I, I so enjoy doing this. So I enjoy, uh, and I enjoy having you guys here with me on Wednesdays. Sorry, it was a little, a little awkward there. <laughs> it's been, like I said, it's been a clumsy kind of awkward kind of day. I have those from time to time. Maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. But thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming and, and joining Crafting with us. And I will see you next week at the same time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.